Hey there. All right, so we're gonna replace a jump rope cable. Okay, so you gotta do that usually a few times a year. They start getting beat up, okay? The bottom's like this from taking them outside. Um, but that's uh, good because you can replace these uh, pretty cheap on here, so it's not that big of a deal. So remember the different color tape. So this one's blue. Different color tape uh, is for different heights. So easiest way is just to grab your new cable, which I have right here. And then what you're gonna do, just to like easily make sure you can size this up, is so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna put one end like so. And then we're just gonna kind of drag it. Careful with your hands over the kind of bottom like yucky part. Okay. <clears throat> and then so this cable is actually pretty darn close uh, to uh, what we need. So we just need to cut off basically like an inch so, and sorry, I would actually want to go the other way. So if I go, so the ends, it's got one end that doesn't move. So that's the one you actually want to start your measure from. Sorry. So if I go here, let's go back the other way. <clears throat> cool. <clears throat> All right. So you can see we just need to snip like a little bit of it. So if I take the snips, and again, if you just kind of line it up, so we have the same exact length and you don't have to mess with it. Take this, I'm gonna snip it. Okay, so now it's the same length. So it's pretty easy to do. Okay, next what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the side that's got the little screw on it. And then you're gonna take the screwdriver. So it's just a Phillips head. So I keep this out in the gym. So you can, you know, adjust the jump rope length, but you can also, it's the same one you're gonna use to do this. <clears throat> All right, and then what we're gonna do next, take the snips, we're gonna just snip it. Okay. <clears throat> and what I usually do is cut it into like fourths, just so you can toss it in the garbage really easy. Okay, snip the end. Oops. Okay, and that comes off. So that's gonna be garbage. So you throw that away. All right, we got our new cable. Okay, so we'll take the, the end that doesn't have that metal clasp on it, thread it through both handles. Okay. <clears throat> Take the little guy that's got the little screw on it, put it in the end. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta give it a little shimmy. <clears throat> okay, so it's on there. Then now we're gonna do is we're just gonna tighten that guy down. Okay, so righty tighty, lefty loosey. Make sure that screw is in there real tight, okay? Because you don't want that screw whipping across the gym while somebody's doing a jump rope, okay? <clears throat> and that's it. Jump rope fixed, new cable, okay? Boom, voila, just like so. So everything's good. And then, you know, just uh, make sure that you inspect it too. So make sure the tape looks nice, right? So this tape... You know, I must have done this one last time because that looks really nice. It's not peeling up. And then just, you know, kind of look and make sure that the jump rope's not cracked or damaged or anything like that. Make sure that it spins. It's like this one's, you know, it's okay. So that one spins, this one spins, and that's good. So that's basically what you're looking for. So <clears throat> there's extra jump rope parts. Um, so like, say, like if this one was cracked, um, it odds of, there's probably another one back there that I could just swap out. Um, so yeah, just make sure the jump ropes are super nice. So that's how to fix a jump rope. And then you would just do that, um, with basically all the ropes, look at them, but you know, not all of them are going to be messed up. So say if you grabbed an older one and it was still perfect like this, like over the winter time, the ropes are going to be perfect because they don't go outside, but around summer when it's nice out, that's when you're going to have to really kind of up that. So, um, all right, cool. Thank you.